So I wanted to do one more video where I kind of talk about the importance of testing because again, I'm getting comments and people don't seem like they understand like why would you test? So I want to give you my perspective of I'm on a team of eight developers and we're all pushing code for different features every day. So if you imagine eight hours a day, a full week of 40 hours of pushing code, it's hard to know what's going on in the project, right? So one developer may have absolutely no idea what another developer is pushing. And we have code reviews and stuff so we can like read through it. But the rate of which the code comes in is almost too great to even understand what's going on. So, so the, the first argument I give for testing is if you're on a larger team and you have a larger project, when people are pushing code, if you don't feel like you can go and read their code base and understand like what they've done, maybe due to the complexity of business logic or the complexity of whatever requirements you have to meet, then you can have tests that kind of describe what the functions and what the components and modules are supposed to do, right? So you can actually go and you can read the tests and verify certain functionalities before you even need to touch the code and read through it to understand what it's doing. And the last test video I did like a couple days ago was about this like sorting function where I have a function that I pass in an array of things and it needs to sort it in a particular order, right? Um, and the sort function I have, it's not that straightforward. Like if I were to go ahead and show you it, this is it right here. It has kind of, you know, a decent amount of code. So my argument is if you are a junior developer or a beginner, and I tell you, you need to come in here and you need to make it sort a little bit differently. Do you think it'd be pretty easy to do and come in and start changing stuff in this code and know for a fact you did not break anything? If you say sure, then I don't think you're ever going to be convinced that testing is important. If you are actually reasonable and you say, yeah, I'd probably be scared of changing something here because I could potentially break some functionality on production that I don't even foresee. Then that is why we unit test. That is why we do integration tests. Because again, this could be a function that you didn't write at all. And you have to come in here and you have to read through it. You have to understand it. You need to understand all the edge cases that this code is written to verify. And then you have to go and you have to add functionality to it. Okay, so there's a lot of extra time spent in understanding the code. And personally, this would give me a lot of anxiety if I had to go in here and change this and not have a test suite to verify what's going on. So that's just another one of my arguments of why I like to test and why we do testing on larger project projects and larger scale projects. If you're just working on a project by yourself, yeah, there might not be as much benefits to doing tests because you wrote the code, you understand the code. But if seven other developers wrote the code and you have to come in and understand it and add functionality, that's where you start running into problems. So to further exemplify this, I had this function sort records I wrote, but one of my Discord users actually solved this problem using like a, a graph based tree approach. So he treated the problem space as a tree and he traversed the tree recursively using DFS and solved the exact same problem. Mine is doing a more like iterative um, procedural approach to just like doing certain things in a certain way, which is great. Like if I run my tests, all right, so let's just run this test suite, which you can see it has three tests that all verify different sort functionality. And what my Discord user did is again, he solved it in a completely different way. So, so as long as he provided a function that had the exact same interface, right? So he has a sort records interface that takes in some data, but then it calls some like DFS sort. It makes some type of tree out of the data and he sorts it all. So let me just go ahead and comment out my code, run his code. And again, it's the same interface. And now when I run this code, watch what happens. Again, it all passes. Everything passes, it all works. And it gives me confidence that the code that he wrote, I can look through his code and he's doing like recursive calls and creating trees and it's pretty complex, right? But I have a set of test suites that allowed us to easily refactor the existing original solution and potentially solve it using a better, more performant, more optimized solution. And I didn't have to worry about potentially breaking any type of edge cases because, because when I test his code, it all passes. So now I could just push this to production and not have to worry that I potentially broke this functionality on, you know, whatever random page that this is used on. And I think in the last video, I got some, some flack for not mentioning the last part of TDD, which is like the refactoring phase. Typically you do red, green refactor where you write a test, you write the implementation, and then you refactor your implementation after you have tests to cover what you've written and then you make the code cleaner and more optimized. So this is a good, an example of like when the refactoring phase comes in, 
and you think that you have a good test suite to make sure that your stuff is good, you can actually come through and start changing your code a lot. And it gives you a lot more flexibility to make sure that your code is written in a better way. And you don't have to worry about breaking stuff and then having to like get stash and revert and go back and like fix it because you broke something by changing one line on accident. It's just change the line, run the test. They pass and just change another line, run the test. If they pass, change another line. And you kind of just do that flow while you're implementing your logic because every step along the way, you have something that tells you, no, this doesn't work or yes, this does work. Anyway, I think I kind of drilled that point home enough. I hope you guys understand why testing is important. I know people come into the comments and say like, this is stupid. Why would you do this? No one does this. And when you're on an actual enterprise application, that's, you know, 200, 300,000 lines of code, you're going to want tests because at some point the project becomes too hard to understand by yourself and you can't make changes without breaking other pieces of functionality easily. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, join me Discord. Uh, feel free to join my community, ask questions if you're stuck and need some help. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, press the bell icon. Have a good day and happy coding.